And moving now to the United States, where the Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, is already in the United States, where he will meet with Joe Biden today. This meeting is the first in the White House between Sanchez and Biden, and both parties are expected to analyze the evolution of the war in Ukraine, the fight against climate change and migration, among other issues. In addition, it is expected that they will reach some agreements to further strengthen the relationship between the two countries. Earlier, Sanchez presented the Grand Cross of Isabella as the Catholic to, uh, the Catholic to the historic leader of the Democratic Party, Nancy Pelosi, while delivering a speech. Today, we recognize the affection that you, like so many other legendary politicians in America history, feel and have always felt for Spain. Based on our shared history and common values, our bilateral relations are today excellent. We will make sure they will continue to grow. All throughout her career, Speaker Emerita Pelosi has been a fierce advocate of a strong and close transatlantic relations. Over the years, we have always enjoyed her support in articulating the convergences between the European Union, its member countries, and the Uni United States. Today, the transatlantic bond is stronger than ever. Our unity is our strength as we support Ukraine to defend itself from the unjustified Russian war of aggression. The International Monetary Fund has warned of negative consequences to the global 